But many people think that in 1986, they remember the Challenger Space Shuttle disaster. This was a failure for computer technology, NASA technology, technology as a whole. Millions of people watched as the Challenger took off, ascended into the air, never made it to the atmosphere, and exploded into a million pieces. This was a major setback for technology as a whole. The same year, computer technology was advancing in leaps and bounds. We had replaced the old storage systems with much larger ones, but one of the biggest advancements was the CD-ROM. In a year's time, the 1.44 megabyte, three and a half inch floppy disk had all been then replaced by the CD-ROM. The CD-ROM had around 650 megabytes on a smaller disk, easier compatible, and more stable platform than the floppy disk. With the creation of the CD-ROM, many manufacturers jumped on board in 1986. They decided it was the way of the future and started replacing the floppy drive with the CD-ROM drive. Though most manufacturers still kept both drives in the computer system itself, the primary use at that point started to change and go towards the CD-ROM. Sony Industries jumped on board with this and started manufacturing these at a rapid, rapid pace. As they did, they grew themselves into an enterprise just off the CD ROM. By the early 1990s, the three and a half inch floppy had all been replaced by the CD ROM. Sony was at the leading edge of the CD ROM drivers and was installed in almost every PC. In the world. The popularity of the CD began to grow. As it grew, software developers and software programmers found it easier to store more information on the CD than three and a half inch flop. They were able to store more information larger files, more complex programs, and sell them in smaller packages and on a safer platform that had less risk of being compromised before it reached the personal computer. Besides the obvious use of software, CDs were used in many ways by PC users. People now could save large files, large sets of data, video, images, anything they wanted to these discs, and would be able to fit multiple items on one disc instead of one item on multiple floppy disks. As the floppy disk faded out, CDs became more popular. Manufacturers all over the world began to develop CDs and mass produce. CDs were very inexpensive for manufacturers to create, but at the time, many consumers were paying good money for the CDs. Now, CDs are dime a dozen you can buy them anywhere, anytime. The 1980s produced many computer technologies, hardware, and software. There are very few computer components that are still used in modern computers today. Due to the flexibility of the CD-ROM and its large data capacity, it's still one of the primary sources for users that want to keep data outside of their primary system. It has survived the test of time and will continue to be a source for primary data storage 
going forward. 